In Last Day on Earth, there are two main ways to obtain resources. The first is pretty straightforward. You find them in zones like resource areas, bunker alpha, and so on. The second way is through workstations, like using the woodworking bench to get planks, the campfire to turn planks into coal, and then using coal and other materials in the refined melting furnace. It's all part of a process, and you'll be using these workstations daily if you want to progress quickly in the game. But this video isn't about those essential workstations. Instead, it's about some that I wonder why anyone would use. Advanced players probably know what I'm talking about, and you likely never use them either. For beginners, here's a warning. If you reach a point where you can craft and build these workstations, don't. Never waste your resources on them, because I can guarantee you'll never use them. And by the way, this isn't a ranking. They're all bad. None of these workstations are worth it. First up is the pressing machine. It unlocks at level 70, and the crafting recipe requires 15 steel plates. You might already be thinking, why would I even craft this? You're probably hoping for a return on investment. Maybe a way to craft steel and aluminum plates more cheaply than with the workbench. Sorry, but you're completely wrong. Let's look at the recipes. Lead plates don't have many uses. They're mainly for repairing terminals in Bunker Bravo and crafting items you can find more easily than crafting them. Plus, you can get lead plates from the transport hub, free season pass rewards, and by spinning caps at the gas station. By the time you reach the swamps using the ATV, you'll have all the lead plates you need. Not worth it. Iron plates are useful for many crafting recipes in LDOE, but you're better off using the workbench. Scrap metal is everywhere, but gathering 300 to make a stack of iron plates? Not worth it. Rubber is important for finishing the ATV and repairing terminals in Bunker Bravo, but once again, it's easier to find elsewhere, mainly in Bunker Bravo Port Lab and Port Sewers. Clearing these areas during season events will give you more than enough. Don't waste 20 rubber parts for just one piece of rubber. Not worth it. Finally, fuel briquettes. What can I say? Coal is far superior and much easier to farm in large quantities. Plus, you need an ATV to get peat for fuel briquettes. I can't imagine why anyone would use fuel briquettes instead of coal. Not worth it. Next on our list is the electronics lab. The crafting recipe is already expensive, and not many players will want to waste copper bars and steel plates unless it's worth it. And I can tell you right now, it's not. Let's look at the recipes. Fast five copper bars, five high-tech component, and five fiberglass for one electronic circuit? 20 aluminum bars, 10 gunpowder, and five gasoline for one explosive material? For one flight controller, you need 20 titanium bars, 10 high-tech components, five electronic circuits, and 10 fiberglass. Who in their right mind would craft these items? Even if you're the richest player in LDOE, I guarantee you'll never need to use the electronics lab. I crafted it myself without checking the wiki, thinking it might be useful. Little did I know how insanely expensive these recipes are. None of them are worth it, and you can get all these items more easily from other locations. Don't make the same mistake I did. Don't bother with this workstation. It's not worth it. Lastly, we have the chemistry station, the most useless workstation in the game. It's expensive to build, the items required are hard to get, and it only produces some of the most useless items in the game. Fortunately, I didn't craft it, and now that I've learned more about it, I'll never touch it. It's a complete waste of resources. Nothing it produces is worth it. You can easily get acid by clearing Bunker Alpha. Gunpowder is one of the most useless items right now, and anti-radiation pills can be found in Bunker Bravo and Port Lab. The chemistry station is 100% not worth it. Those are the most useless workstations in LDOE. I still wonder why they're even in the game. What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content. Bye-bye.